Today we are starting with um, writing, how to write a summary. So uh, the students are going to follow the format that we have. You see, uh, on the, uh, I think two days ago we, had, we wrote about this. They had to make um, a little draft on what they are going to talk about. Today they are going to transfer the information of what they did to um, the draft. Now, as I said, guys, you know how to begin. You begin with the altar. Okay, if you have any question about anything, just raise your hand up. Raise your hand up and ask me. Do you have any question? Yusuf, do you have any question? No. Are you sure you know what to do? Yes. What do you have to do first? Uh, <coughs> Yes, the conflict. What do I mean by conflict, guys? The conflict means what? The problem that you did in your story. In every story, there is um, a little something. Even if the problem is not, maybe the problem can be something small, or, you know, so you don't need to um, uh, think more about the, the conflict, but you need to put it down. The first thing, arrange it in ascending order. Yes, sir, Koban. It's up to you if you want to begin with your story and then write the uh, characters and conflict behind it's okay. If you want to begin from the author setting characters and then conflict, it's still okay. Yes, uh, call it. The struggle between the characters. Okay, but next time I'm going to teach you what is called internal and external conflict. What did I talk about selection? There it's called setting, the time and place. The setting, the time and place of your story. It's not about selection, the time and place. Okay? I said on the conflict, you have what we call external and internal conflict. Internal conflict, the problem within the character. External conflict, the problem out of the characters. If I'm having a problem with, with Omar, so I am external, you know, I'm a character, he's a character, we're having a problem. But if I'm having a problem within my own self, this is called internal conflict. So all your stories must not be an external conflict. It might be internal. If the person that is talking, if the narrator is having a problem to his own self, this is also a conflict. It doesn't mean that it has to be only characters by characters. Okay? Do you have any problem? There is a word you want to use? You can ask. What are you doing, Mohammed? Transfer this information that you did here into this. I did not check this. I thought I checked. Hussein, did you complete this? Okay, that was good. Um, Omar, let me see the page behind, please. Okay, stories about old Yela. Okay. Karim, are you having any problem? So why are you not writing? You have just 30 minutes left. Okay, that's good, that's excellent. Okay, let me see what you did on the other page behind. Let me see. You have to complete because I'm going to compare between what you wrote here and what you're writing here. It should not be different. Because the first, you first of all brainstorm. So what you brainstorm two days ago, it's what you're going to give me today by expanding it. By expanding it. Yes, that was good. Continue. Adora man, is there any problem? No. Okay. Brian, do you have any problem in the writing? Let me see what you did. That was good. Ahmed, yes? Can I add information? Why not? You can add information. You can only expand the information, what you brainstorm. But don't write something different. Yes, sir. Um, uh, it doesn't matter. It can be your family. It can be your friend. It doesn't matter. 